hey guys welcome back to the channel if guys please excuse the ring light that's like literally in my glasses please excuse me that's just <laughs> the luck of wearing glasses but again guys hopefully you can just focus on the video and stay tuned because i got some great stuff to share if you're new welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank y'all so much for coming back i do appreciate it um if you're new here welcome my name is shalice i'm 39 so i'll be 40 this year the big four zero um i'm a mother a wife work be i have a lot going on but i also like to use this channel to document me and my family of five's journey to financial independence and we're trying to do that by investing in real estate the stock market you know making sure we're saving keeping our debts low um you know like especially the credit cards and stuff keeping that to a, a zero but like you know other liabilities and things low and just really trying to figure out all the ways to you know grow our wealth that's what my channel is all about it's just documenting our journey and hopefully inspiring you to kind of get started on your journey as always i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a fiduciary or a guru um i'm making videos from my bedroom or sometimes my car um, i'm really i'm just an investor like you i'm in the trenches i'm really am trying to just document this journey when the market is up when the market is down just so that you know you can see what long term looks like like long term investing what it looks like in real time um i do not like trade stocks or do options i've tried your girl is not built for that so i stick to my lane and I really do love the way and where my husband and I are right now with our finances so said all that spiel so today I wanted to um, give you guys an update I make the same kind of videos all the time I'm a creature of habit that's what my channel is about um, just so that you guys can see consistency through the long term works and so first I want to talk with you about a milestone that we received in or not received but achieved in SCHD so you'll see it up on your screen so we now have 525 shares so I think I put in the thumbnail that we went we achieved another milestone and every milestone I try to track it within 25 share increments because I like the fact that we can kind of see the small wins in between of the large ones because you guys know my our next long term share size goal for SCHD for my husband and I is um, a thousand shares. Well, a thousand shares is thousands and thousands of dollars, and so I like to kind of document and celebrate the small wins along the way because the journey is also very important. And so every twenty five shares of you know a position that we have, I like to celebrate. So getting to five hundred and twenty five shares that means we are one quarter of the way to 600 shares so we really are just you know like really kind of putting the pedal to the metal and uh, we're using our money and let me just say this it's a sacrifice I mean I could go out and buy a bunch of stuff um, but it's a sacrifice that my husband and I are making we're trying to have a higher savings rate um, so that we can get to our goals like I said I'm gonna be 40 this year so you know if I don't want to work until 60 you know you have to have money available right to live on and to pay your bills or maybe you want to take a sabbatical maybe you want to build up a youtube channel or a brand um and so you need money to live on while you're doing that and this that is what i'm doing with schd in these bridge accounts so we have schd like i said an interactive broker so we're almost at forty thousand dollars invested in SCHD, I think that's 525 shares. If I'm wrong, you see it up on your screen. The market is open, so that number may change, but it's somewhere around $40,000. Um, let me just say, the market, was, I'm filming this on Thursday, so the actual day that this video is coming out, the February 1st. So I know Jerome Powell spoke yesterday as you know as of the recording of this video and he made it clear that they were very unlikely to start the rate cuts in March which I mean I was originally under the impression that they were going to start maybe around May June-ish or when as it got warmer and he mentioned yesterday what during his press conference that they are you know look or they're waiting at other for other metrics they are looking at other other indicators he kept saying that we're we're waiting for other indicators I'm not sure if it's the labor market um um, the housing market I have to actually go through and read it in more detail because I just kind of like listen in and out you know I'm, I'm doing a lot of things during the day um, 
but that's why the market fell but yesterday was payday and you know we just continue to do what we always do you know the long-term retirement accounts 401ks all of that that all automatically gets funded um, but here in the channel I talk mainly about our taxable accounts because that is what we're going to be using to you know kind of help us during those years of early retirement or maybe we want to start our own business whatever we want to do that money will be there and the a key point to all of that is increasing our share so that we can get more dividend income. So SCHD will be paying out its next dividend um, in March. So I'm happy to see that we're at 525 shares. Another one is VTI. So now we're at 125 shares of VTI. Again, I'm just doing the same old thing. I'm investing every time we get paid. We have many different income resources and I, I suggest everyone at least have a second income resource um, because you just don't know especially nowadays with like job security and all of that I know you know a lot of people are getting you know laid off and so having another source of income you 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 may think that you know you know no one is going to be interested in this or that I turned on this camera I'm filming on my phone by the way and I had no idea people would want to know you know or follow along my journey as we, uh, you know, go towards financial independence. I had no idea. I don't have a studio. I don't have a fancy setup. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing our journey step by step, share by share. And people like that. They like the regularness of <laughs> my channel. And so, you know, I always tell people, you know, you never know. So just, you know, try it and see if it works out. Put your heart into it and just see what happens. And so, you know, it's really interesting. You know, every week I'm just making these videos, updates, what we're doing and to see like we're at VTI. Like I remember we just, I feel like we just got 200 shares of VTIs and now we're at 125 shares. And VTI is not a cheap stock and speaking of the vanguard based etfs i did put a poll up for february's investing challenge and as of right now i have my tablet right here it looks like you all are going for voo okay so voo is a really great vanguard based um etf which is an exchange trader fund and i know a lot of you like it i really do like it as well i just like vti um but i will be investing in voo for february so that is the pick that you all officially um as of today february 1st is voo that you all voted on check out yahoo finance check out my beginner investing playlist to know more not just about the challenge but understand how to research um investments on your own or just continue to just build up one of your current positions the idea behind the challenge is to invest consistently with small amounts of money that's what most that's what stops most people is that they say they don't have a large amount of money well you're investing a dollar a day for that month. You can actually do it every day. You can wait till the end of the month. You can wait till you get paid and just split it in half. You make that decision, okay? You are in the driver's seat here. The idea is to be consistent. I did invest um, $31 for SCHD um, in my M1 financial broker portfolio. You'll see it up on your screen. I did invest SCHD for the month of uh, January. So guys, um, yeah, VCI, 125 shares. I think that's about $30,000 or so. Um, so we're going to just continue to be consistent. We are going to continue to stay focused, my husband and I, on our goals. And I'm really am excited to share with you guys uh, our dividend income for the month of January. I do share those once a month. And I share them from our taxable accounts because, again, those are our bridge accounts for early retirement. So we cannot touch a 401k. I mean, you could do like Roth conversions and things. But we're going to leave that for our long-term future and just focus on the um, taxable accounts for, you know, like the in-between years, if that makes sense. And the goal for 2024 is to get those taxable accounts to $250,000. So we're, we're chugging along. We're getting there. Um, with market growth or gains and our contributions, I, fingers crossed we can get to $250,000 combined but we'll see i don't know you know like i said the market crashed so you what you're seeing just now with those uh screenshots is after jerome powell spoke and the market just went down i mean it just it was just a bloodbath but long term we like what we have and um so yeah so you'll next week you'll see our dividend income report for january in our taxable accounts and i want to do our february investing plan as well i'll get that up next week as well to be a little late but you know i only do two videos a week and i'm trying to get all the content um scheduled um and out and yeah so that is where we're at right now in terms of an update on what we've been doing 
January is over. We are already into the second month of this new year. All those financial goals we were making, make sure you guys stay consistent. If you have to pause because life happens, we're looking at having to replace an HVAC in the next month or two. So I get it. Um, just be consistent, even if it's a dollar a day. If you cannot do hundreds of dollars a month, a dollar a day, 25 cents a day. I have it in, I have my little books right here. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see, but this is the investing challenge book. And this is the investing or the dividend book. I'll do like a quick like um, flip through on your screen so that you can see it. But, um, you know, just being consistent, tracking your progress, uh, making sure you, you find motivation where you can find it. I love audio books. You can find a ton of financial audio books on YouTube. Listen while you're in the car, while you're driving, cleaning, cooking, all of that type of stuff, doing laundry, because it'll really keep you motivated when the market is kind of going a little bit crazy. So again, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let me know down below what are you looking to buy for the month of February February for um, what you were focusing on for the month of January. Again, guys, thank you so much. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.